great last line. Next up, we have Bernice Lever. Come on down, Bernice. started to worry the days are getting longer now that we've got past the equal day and this first poem is called balancing day balancing day what do you want equality of equinoxes superiority of solstices choosing more light or more dark do you play in the sunshine or under the covers at night? Politicians change their clocks, tricking your waking and your sleeping. Four times a year, these mood swings of earth and sun befuddle the weather personnel when predictions grow even more erratic. No wonder you can't balance your life. Choose which day to celebrate. That's terribly by heart. Sometimes uh, it's good just to have a look around and imagine we were teenagers again. This poem's called Not Enough. Memories glow from when once was not enough. Twice lasted a while. Was better the second time especially if back to back, flashing more stars to darkness, causing short, shallower breaths, begging for another embrace. And beyond into wild, flowered mountains, alive with butterflies and gypsy violins. So, um, I think I can manage short ones in my five minutes. This one's called Go to Sleep. I go to sleep on one beach and awake on another. The sun slipped half over, just a dark red glow leading on the high-rise cranes on the skeleton structures. I go to sleep by mountain waterfall and rouse my icy limbs, digits, into a gray plastic cone, already missing the forest. No blue jays twitter in dark cedars. I go to sleep on a pink spa couch and stir languidly in a crib. My tiny undies not near as dry a diaper as my twins. I go to sleep in hospital whites and leave my body there. It always hindered me. Now my spirit is multi loci all at once and nowhere at all. Thank you. Thank you. 